on the morning of the 11th of July, South Africa's national netball team had a big day ahead, taking on Northern Ireland in the final game of a three-match series. And the girls felt confident. We still have the talent. We still have the passion. We still have the guts. But before the match, there was a setback. The Proteas were caught up in an armed robbery. That night, shaken but unfazed, they went on to clinch the series against Ireland 3-0. These women have learned to be tough, playing a sport that hasn't been kind to them. Netball, as is the case with most sports played predominantly by females, does not have professional status. This means players are essentially volunteers. Look at soccer. The coach gets how much? I don't want to even go there. The players get how much? Look at their performance, where they're ranked in Africa. So there's a little bit of discrimination here. As much as we love netball, as we love to represent our country, but then still we have needs. We needed to, to buy our own tackies and being a national netball player, you need to go through tackies like this. Like you need indoor tacky, you need outdoor tackies. And so, to pay the bills, they take on other jobs and work hard towards a plan with career prospects. Normal students would get like a few days in between subjects. I'm going to write all my exams in one week. Yes, like maybe two, one or two every day. Yes, yeah, so I'll be studying while we're on tour. Um, that's the thing, like you always take your books with you. You need to take your books with you and keep, keep studying. Yeah, you need to get your degree, it's very important because... Um, it's, it's actually sad because netball can't um, actually provide a lifestyle for us, um, so we need to study and need to have like a backup. And they continue to hope. So hopefully we know that with great performance and great achievement, sponsors will come on board, people will see that we are sports we reckoned with, and they will actually give us an opportunity like the rugby, the cricket mm -hmm. and the soccer in the country. The sponsorship industry though has its own rules. It may be that more women play netball than any other sport, but it's not a popular spectator sport and doesn't get much TV coverage. And TV time is what sponsors want. Netball's greatest drawback commercially uh, is that it appeals to a very young, under 30, low-income demographic and obviously predominantly female. So whilst it's a number one female participation sport, it's not a very high-profile spectator sport, and therefore the commercial return on investment, the media, the branding around it is very low. But their fortunes are about to change. We cannot continue to treat the most popular women's sport as a marginalized and Cinderella sport. We cannot continue, therefore, to marginalize our women. Suffice to say that netball will be undergoing a major change in South Africa and will soon announce further plans to make it fully professional by launching the National Netball Professional League. Turning pro will mean that talent won't have to immigrate to overseas teams or retire in their 20s. There will be a career path from school to elite level and netball players will finally be able to stand tall next to their male counterparts in other sports. Even if we have to go out to schools and like work with the kids, we like want to be part of part of the growth of part of the development. Yeah, and to get um, our name out there and to actually show them that netball can be life changing. Nandi Chabalala, Cape Town.